Demiki rigging, moping. Some guys call it hanging a minnow up north. Either way, this simple little rig just won the Bassmaster Classic. Congratulations, Jeff Gustafson. Quite an incredible accomplishment. Uh, I'm just gonna run you guys through this little rig. It's super simple, just a fluke style soft plastic bait threaded on a jig, but there's a couple key little differences that Gussie does in particular that sets his baits apart from the rest. Uh, if you haven't watched already, we have a full length video with Gussie on how he fishes this rig, but we're gonna toss this bait in our tank behind us here and just show you guys up close what this bait looks like underwater and just a couple of the key features that gets this thing bites. We have your regular minnow profile jig head here. Um, this is a Bass Tactics Smeltinator jig head and a scented jerk shads from Z-Man. All that you do is thread this guy on. Super, super simple. Come out the top, push that guy up. And then what Gussie likes to do, and I would recommend highly, putting a little dab of super glue. Oops, put a little dab of super glue right at the top there. There's some sort of chemical reaction that goes on with a Laztec and super glue that once you put that on, it is not coming off. For those of you that were watching Bass Live and watching Gussie, um, as you can see, he had multiple fish on his Mega Live screen at once. Let's say he dumped a fish, he was able to get right back down to the school of fish because his bait wasn't all bundled up, he was able to uh, entice another fish into biting really quick without having to bring his bait back up into the boat and fix it. One other important thing when fishing this bait is your knot. The way that your knot fits on the line tie is really important because it keeps your bait horizontal. So something that goes through your line tie multiple times is gonna give it the most stability um, versus a loop knot where your line is free to you know, let this jig head go wherever. Uh, having a fixed knot, something like a polymer, or a shark knot, something like that, really holds on to that line tie really tight and you're able to slip your knot back towards the back side of this line tie and get that thing to sit in place and it'll sit horizontal in the water. Like I said earlier, you can use any fluke style bait you want, but Elaztec or something that floats is really, really important. Uh, scented jerk shads are awesome for this because it allows your bait to sit horizontal in the water. Um, it just makes your bait look more presentable versus it sitting up and down in the water column like this. No minnow is really gonna look like that. Most of them swim uh, you know, horizontal across the water column. So something that makes it sit up like that and that buoyancy of the Elastec helps it do that. The jig head is equally as important as the plastic on the back. You can see how far back this line tie is. A lot of jig heads or swim bait heads have the line tie up front near the nose. This one is a little bit further back and that just distributes the weight enough to let that thing sit horizontal in the water column. Gussie was using a fairly natural color. Depending on the water clarity that you're fishing, uh, you can uh, you know, adjust that as need be. Just something natural a lot of times, you know, you're not moving this bait very fast, so something that really mimics a bait fish. You know, a minnow profile is just so deadly for, for any species really, but especially um, with smallmouth spots, that kind of stuff. Uh, up here we have um, you know, alewife, cisco, um, smelt, that kind of thing. Down south, uh, it might be imitating shad. Anytime that those fish wanna feed up in the water column, this bait right here, just hanging it below the boat or pitching at fish, uh, as you saw Gussie was doing, um, is great. Those fish can see it, uh, it silhouettes above them, and they fly up off the bottom and a lot of times they'll eat it. 